Hey, it's the Fort Worth Playboy. And my Playboy's Bunny. And welcome to our podcast where we discuss pickup, game, relationships, and... Sex, sex, sex. Today we're going <laughs> to... Talking on a podcast about texting seems a little weird. It's, it's <laughs> probably... But it's, it's one of those things that we can talk about the nuances a little bit better. And there's certain what we call alpha text rules. Yeah. A lot of guys fumble... Um on the front end because they text too much yeah and they sure. text wrong and they convey the wrong message because girls are getting what hundreds if not thousands of messages a day yeah and so there's we have like five or six just very basic rules you want to be able to follow a standard set of rules or a structure when you're texting Number one is what we try to convey is no emojis. Why would I do that? <laughs> it's like a teenage girl texting when, you, when you're using emojis. It really does give an effeminate, you know, silly, oh, cute little slant to all of your messages. Yeah. It, now, how do girls feel when they receive emojis? Well, like I just said, I mean, it's, it's like... It's like you're not texting a man, you're texting one of your That's girlfriends funny. or one of your children. It's 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 truly an effeminate, silly, don't take him seriously, but not in a sexy way kind of thing. That's pretty funny because who I notice uses males that use emojis the most Yeah, is when we have teenage girls in our, like we have teenage girls. Absolutely. Any dad of teenage girls ends up Using a lot of emojis all the time. Yeah. Because that's how she's texting us. My dad uses, and I'm not a teenage girl, but my dad uses the cowboy emoji. That's because funny. Because that's him. That's so funny. So he signs off with a cowboy emoji. That is funny. <laughs> that's but I do, sign off. That's funny, but I do try to convey to guys. One, an emoji is, is a stand, stands for an emotional icon. Correct? Yeah, good point. And most guys good aren't, reminder. aren't emotional. And it does allow your texting to be a little bit more mysterious. Yeah. You know, and straightforward. And I I want to convey with guys that some of this stuff sounds stupid and inconsequential, but there's nothing that we coach or or suggest to guys to put into play that works faster than the tips we'll give you today. Exactly. I mean, literally, guys go... Oh, I started just getting completely different responses. Yeah. You know, because it's 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 masculine. You using emojis I feel is very feminine. And I don't I don't know if this is on your list, but I think it goes along with the emojis is the is the ha 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 L O L L M A O. It's there are guys who will use that with every text I've heard this before like a girl and it's it's like do you, no girl wants to think of her man sitting over there going ha 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 it's like what that's it's, funny it's not sexy and I remember you saying this even like six or seven years ago yeah when, when we talked about stuff like this I mean that that and girls do say it's LOL with every text I receive. Girls say LOL all the time. And it's just like, so if you want to if you want to come across like a girl, LOL, ha, 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 LMAO, and emojis will just completely dry her panties. There you go. That's, that's interesting. Number two is no punctuation. <laughs> and because you, your texting should be short and sweet anyway, I say, man, and this is one of those things like telling guys to be late. Man, they grind against, oh, I just, oh, oh, you know, I can't do it. Yeah. I can't do it. But try it. This is what I always tell guys. Just get rid of all the commas. Don't capitalize. Turn off the auto capitalizer. And just try it. Because it it makes it harder to discern your, your text. It's good for you and it's good for her. But most of these guys, they just like, oh. You know, you think that they, I'm telling them to, you know, punch their mother. Right. You know, they, but it's one of those things you, you do it and then you see the reaction that they're more inquisitive and more engaged in what you're saying. 
then you'll you'll stick with it, you know. But I found this to be one of those things that guys just get so uptight about when you should actually just test it out. Just try it. Yeah, just, just try, try it. it. And I would say that the flip side of the no punctuation, you know, not really worrying about capitalization, is the answer to that is not to go all caps all the time. Because there are men who use all caps as a as a way of like ignoring punctuation and stuff. Oh, I wasn't sure what you're where you're going. Yeah, all caps all the time, and it's absolutely horrible. I've actually broken up with a fiance for using all caps. Essentially, I can see where guys would do. I mean, because it's for guys, it's easy. It's efficient. Yeah, I get it. That's but it funny. comes across so aggressive, so annoying. Everything about it is, and it sounds extreme that I, but literally, like, this guy I was engaged to, but every every message he sent was all caps, and I was just like, oh, this I can't live my life this way. That's pretty funny. Because it, it carries over. Now, yeah. a guy who doesn't take himself too seriously, and so he's like, you know, not worrying about punctuation. He's kind of, kind of, you know, making up words, kind of having fun with it, not capitalizing, cap, 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 oh my gosh, capitalizing, you know, that's funny. It's kind of like, is this guy playful or is he an idiot? Oh, he's just playful. It. It like what we're saying, it adds mystery. All caps is not the answer, though. No double texting. If she doesn't respond, leave it. Yeah. Leave it forever if you have to. Leave it for two months. And then even if she responds, finally, you know, two months later, she says, you know, I was washing my hair. <laughs> I was so busy. You just pick it up where she left off. And again, this is one of those things that guys really struggle with. Yeah. But you can either get laid or you can get even. And the girl really doesn't care if you stay or fly away. Yeah. So with double texting, this is one of those that's very, just don't do it. Yeah. You know, the guys that you'll see, anybody that you see that will say, but I, this one time I, the exceptions prove the rule. Uh-huh. And once you understand the basics, and this is, you know, running game is a lot like sports. Once you know the basics, you can kind of do it off the cuff. You can improvise a little bit. But you need to use the basics for a couple of years. Exactly. It's not, it's not exactly. a one-week trial. Exactly. Always and practice your basics. That's, yeah. why, that's why I tell these guys I'll tweak the same thing every week because that's how you reinforce the basics. Right. You know? Well, and this goes along with our number one about the emojis also. Just this, an overreaching rule of game is to do less. Yeah. So eliminate the emojis, punctuate less, you know, punctuate less, give less care about that. You know, don't double text. All of this is under the umbrella of do less because whenever you do less in every area of game, you actually get her imagination working for you. Which is always your ally. It, it's your ally. No good morning, no good night text. Oh, another one. Do less. Quit Do doing less. that. Quit good morning and good nighting every girl to death. If you ever look in a girl's phone who's quote unquote single, every fucking man she's ever known is texting her Good morning and good night. Good morning, beautiful. Good night. Sleep well. Have a sweet dreams. I uh, hope you had the best day. Good night. Because if they think she's single, they want to get in her pants, and they think that's the answer. Exactly. This is where guys default to action. They're like, well, I need to be in front of her, uh -huh. or she'll forget I exist. Uh-huh. And it doesn't matter. No. You know, I You're mean, just one of a sea of men who are texting that same, same exact text. You're not unique if you're doing that shit. That's right. And, and again, you know, 
once you're into this for a while, you're like, you don't think until you see like a girl's phone and you go, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, that's where these guys, that's where you're setting yourself apart and you're not disappearing because she's not really looking at those. No. You know, oh, oh, thank God Matt, you know, texted me this morning. Yeah. And I'm never going to give him time of day. Yeah. So none of this matters as far as like, what would you say? Uh, the number of time, t- times you're in front of her. No. Um, and the last is the golden rule. Say less than her. Yeah. You know, we always, you know, the golden rule is two responses to all every three of hers. You know. Yeah. Reach out less. And here's the thing. This is, this is a tough thing for um, guys when we say let her chase you. She's not going to chase you. You're going to have to do most of the heavy lifting, most of the initiation. Right. Before you guys start fucking regularly. Yeah. Then momentum starts picking up. So, and guys are, it's confusing. Yeah. You know, we always say girls, girls chase, but they will not chase. You've got to make things happen. They just happened. Yeah. In the beginning. Sure. You know, but this, this, this uh, period where you're initiating more than her should be a very short amount of time Mm -hmm. just between the moment that you guys first initially meet and when you guys start fucking regularly right whatever then she's locked on the cock and you she'll be and you can sit back and let her chase you and enjoy it exactly and then all these things should be pretty automatic and if you're running a rotation or if you're not trying to be with one girl at a time then when you back up and and are doing less with one girl because she's chasing you and she's doing things for you, she's giving you more gifts, she's giving you more attention, she's initiating more contact with you, she's doing a lot of the heavy lifting, then that gives you time to be working on the next girl to introduce to that to that kind of attitude. It's Perfect. a win-win. Basic training one and two, which is in a bundle, and there will be a link down below, has this within it and another ninety nine. <laughs> yeah. Is it a hundred total? Between the two yeah. of them, it's a hundred. It's a hundred basic training like tips like this that you can apply, and they are truly basic training. Yeah. You should know this, but information is not getting passed along to guys anymore. No. And not good information. No. Not masculine information. And they're fumbling the ball. Yeah. So, if you like this podcast, like, subscribe. Share with your friends. Share with your friends. <laughs> we and want you to win. Bye.